hi friends welcome to my channel and this is a uh, vmware certification vcp6 data center virtualization training video and this is the ninth video of this series and in this video i'm going to show you how to increase or expand capacity of uh, vmfs uh, data store so here is my environment i'm using the same virtual machines which i am using from last few videos so the first one is win2k12 dc01 which is my active directory domain controller if you want to verify win2k12 dc01 my domain name bigtimefossil.com if you go here you can see i have installed active directory dns role on this server and bas uh, done the basic configuration for um, both the roles so the next one is vcenter6 which is my vcenter server i have assigned 12 gb ram to this machine as uh, uh, vcenter6 required minimum 8 gb ram to uh, for the installation so here it is vcenter6 machine is joined to domain and no roles install you can see i have installed vcp web client and vcp uh, vspear client on this machine and this server working as a as a um, like um, we we center server if you go to services you can verify the all the vmware related services are uh, working perfectly fine identity service virtual center server so this is basically my v center host and we have three esx hosts esx 0 1 0 2 and 0 3 here the all esx host which is running and i have uh, uh, added those esx host to my like uh, uh, v center uh, server so this let me launch the vcenter console so here it is so local host because i am going to log into local server itself so login using my windows session credential So it's loading the inventory here you can see uh, the all three ESX host is added here on my uh, DC India uh, data center so and my learns coming from my physical host which is uh, Windows Server uh, 2016 I have installed Starwind on this server my physical server so let's check out here is you can see Starwin management console so launch it and now you can see we have three LUNs I'm getting three LUNs for from this server uh, and it's connected with ESX2, ESX3 and ESX1 here you can see the size 21GB, 201GB or 221GB let's verify the same on ESX host select any ESX host go to configuration and then go to storage we have three LUNs LUN 0, 1 and 2 same you can verify from here 0 1 and 2 and if you go here you can see the size is around 21 200 GB and 201 GB so what I want to do in this video I want to extend uh, this LUN size from 200 GB to 221 uh, uh, GB so for that the first thing if if you go here and click uh, properties you can see the size and uh, maximum files uh, file size means two z uh, two TB means this data uh, data store can support maximum two TB of storage uh, size. So you can see the capacity for this device is two hundred one GB and primary partition is uh, two hundred one GB. So if I go here and click on add storage and click next. You will not receive any information here because I have not expanded this uh, LUN from my storage end. So the first thing we need to do, we need to extend the size of this data store, uh, this LUN from uh, from storage end. So this is my uh, uh, like a storage end uh, uh, LUN. So I'm going to click here and extend uh, extend image size, and I'm going to put here this size which I want to extend so in my case I want to expand 200 GB so it will become 221 uh, GB so click on expand so if you refresh here you can see the size is increased here and now if you go to vcenter server cancel it and if you go 
and check the properties you can see the capacity of this device is uh, increased from uh, 20 uh, 200 GB to 20, uh, 221 GB and the uh, volume is still 200 GB so what we have to do we have to extend the size of this volume so for that we have to click on add storage and disk and learn size we want to expand so click next and it will scan the all the storage uh, free storage available for all the available data store and learns which is connected to this basically your HB or uh, ISKC controller so it, it takes some time just time so here you can see the uh, like uh, increased data store capacity to 21 if you click next it will give you the current scenario like uh, capacity available available so we have 20 GB free available and capacity is 21 so if you go ahead and click next it will give you option to like increase the size for now uh, like if you want to increase the size by 10 GB for now only if you click next it will give you option uh, like information total capacity it will become like for data store learn one is 20 uh, 211 GB and uh, and the rest capacity will be f uh, available for us so click on finished and now if you refresh and go to learn zero one properties if it, it it will give you the option here vm uh, vmfs volume is capacity is 211 gb and capacity is total capacity is so you can see the same has been increased from here just uh, i just want to f uh, few give you few uh, tips here like if if you have increased the size of learn at the storage and and if you are not getting the uh, like information same information increased or uh, new data store size or uh, data store learn size on here if you select the properties of data store and then uh, you have to go to just click on storage adapter and select the your storage adapter in my case is ISKC and risk uh, and click on rescan all so it will scan for new storage devices and new uh, new uh, VMFS volume so go ahead and click it it will take some time to give you like uh, in my case it's done so then if you go to storage and re refresh or uh, go to the properties of the data store which you want to increase the size which you are not getting earlier so you will get the same detail so uh, I have left the like uh, 10 GB space for now on server so I am going to increase that as well as click on increase and here you can see the size click next and you will get the information like free free space 10 GB click next and just go with the maximum available size click next and click on finish button so it will add the rest of the free space on your drive so now you can see the capacity has been changed from like uh, maximum capacity and the VMFS volume capacity so so this is all about the expanding the size and and like uh, you you will get the information like if you are if you don't have free space on storage then might be you need to in increase the size of the storage or it depends on the requirements so this is all about the increasing the size of our data line also if you if you if you increase the size at one one ASX host you will get the same uh, replicated information like latest information on your second host as well as so here you can verify the on the second host and you can also verify on the third host if you go to select the host configuration and learn then you can get the detail like uh, the data store has been increased at every uh, on the every host basically so sometime if, if you go don't get the latest update on like uh, another host just go to storage adapter and rescan all adapter so it will give us the new uh, uh, fast the new updated uh, information from the ESX host or storage account so this is all about the all about the extending the size of the data store so 
i want to thank you thank you for, uh, thank you for watching please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to in, like increasing expanding the capacity of vms volume or data store size or learn then please uh, let me know and uh, post me on my uh, you can drop me an email on my given mail id thank you once again bye bye have a nice day